believe in him should not perish, should not perish, should not die physically, should not die spiritually, okay? But have eternal life, everlasting life. And guess what? Everlasting life is found in Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's in Christ Jesus. Hey, hey, don't anybody want to live again? When you die, don't you want to live again? But guess what? You want to you die, but guess what? You're not going to die with like, you're not going to die like a roach. Let's put it like that. You know how a roach, you kill a roach, and you kill a roach? Guess what? The roach is dead. The roach don't have a soul. The roach don't have a spirit. He is dead. Guess what? You're not going to die, but you're going to, you're going to live again. You're going to live somewhere in eternity. Your soul is going to live somewhere. It's going yeah. to live either in heaven or in hell. You're going to live again. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody told me that there's an in-between place that I can go to pray for my friends. No, no, that, that's not my purgatory. Yeah. That's not my purgatory. I can go there and pray. Can I go there? I can. Guess what? You can go there and pray for my friends. Hey, guess what, brother Lewis? Guess what, my brother? You can't even pray to the dead. Amen. You can't even go and pray to the dead. Amen. You can't, guess what? You can't pray nobody out of purgatory. Because there ain't no such thing. Don't believe the hype. It's heaven or hell. Don't listen to these false doctrines out here because the devil is working in the background to deceive you. Yes, yes, yes. To all the people. Yes, 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 yes. So there's no such thing as purgatory. There's no such thing. It's only, it's only heaven and hell. Yes. Heaven and hell. When God flips the switch, there's only up or down. Up or down. Up or down. So where are you going? Where are you going to spend the earth when you need this earth? Where are you going to ask yourself a question, people? Where are you going to spend eternity when, uh, when your life goes out? Yes, yeah, you really need that. When your life goes out, where are you going to spend eternity? You, you need to ask yourself okay, a question. Do that today. Ask yourself a question. Where are you going to spend eternity? You need to ask yourself a question. Do that today. Because we don't got tomorrow. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Because life is not promised. Nobody knows where they're going to be tomorrow. But Amen. guess what? There's hope for your soul. All you got to do is come to us. Just come on over here. Guess what? Yeah. We can, we can guess what? We can pray a prayer with you. Wait, wait, guess wait, wait, what? Wait, wait. We've already had two or three people come to us today. And, and uh, they're going to get baptized. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, they're going to get baptized. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And you can be the same. You can do the same. This is the altar call. Come to Christ Jesus while you still have a chance. While your lips can still sing in praises. While your knees can still bend. And while your ears can still hear the goodness. I say the goodness of the Lord. Amen. And you got to do it while you still have life in your body. Because we serve the God of the living, not a God of the dead. Well, what can Jesus do for you when you die in your sin? Absolutely nothing. Amen. Am I right about it? Amen. The point is this. But there is hope, people. There is hope. 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 It says, but God has shown his love, love for us. And that while we were still sinners, yes. we were sinners, guess what? They were sinners 2,000 years ago, during the time of Jesus. They were sinners way right before Jesus. They were sinners. But guess what? Jesus came down. God came down in, 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 in a human form as, as a man. God yes. came down. God said, look, I'm going down there. I'm going to go down there and die for the people. I'm going to go down there and pay, and pay the price. Or sin you know, for the people. You know, God said back in the Old Testament, God said, You know what? I am done. God has done with us a long, 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 long time. God said, I am done. They are so disobedient. Amen. I'm done. He, 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 uh, he just about lost it, my dear. So, he just about lost it. He said, You know what? I'm going to get the one last chance. Right. I'm going to send myself down to hell, pray there, because Jesus is God made man of flesh, he's a flesh. Am I right about it? Yes, he is. I'm going to give this one last chance one for last salvation. Last. I'm going to send my son. I'm going to know. I'm going to send myself down here. I'll come down. But God can come down in his form because no eyes can see God Almighty and live. Go ahead. That's how powerful that light is. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So he came down from the feet of David. 
from the seed of David. Amen. And what shall we call him? Jesus. Amen. 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 We got to recognize him. That's our last. Wait. This is our last chance. But, but there was no more chances. This is the last one right there. You know, you know how you know how to go to the club. When you're at the club, good. And then it's like I already know ahead of time. This is old school right here. You go to the club and the announcer says, "Last call for alcohol, y'all." Last call for alcohol, y'all. You know, and everybody runs to the bar to get that last drink. Right, right, right. Okay, guess what? Last call for Jesus, y'all. Last call for Jesus. Last call for Jesus, y'all. Last call. But nobody's running to the altar because they're not thirsty. Jesus said, yeah. I am the water of life. Right. But they don't want it. They're not thirsty. They're not thirsty. But yet they want to go on. They're not thirsty for the salvation. Or they want a tequila. Right, 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 right. Amen. They're not thirsty for they, they, They're not thirsty for Jesus. Y'all better get it right. Drink the water of life instead of the spirit of death. You know when you pass by a liquor store and it says wine and spirit? Amen. Alcohol is the spirit. Amen. Liquor is the spirit. You're drinking the spirit of Satan. Nah, 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 nah. Amen. And you don't even know it. Amen. First of all, you got to know that you're a sinner. You got to recognize what Jesus done for you at the cross. First of all, you got to recognize what God has done through Jesus Christ for you at the cross. You got to agree to God's word that you're a sinner. You got to come to a point in your life where you realize, guess what? I'm a sinner. Watch it later. Watch it later. Look at the bus. Watch it now. Hey, hey, hey. Thank God. Thank God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you to make it cross the street safely. Thank you, Jesus. You got to recognize that you're a sinner. You got to agree with God about your sin. You know, God wants you. God wants you. We got to come to a point where we come to a point where we agree with God about our sins. Because the Bible says, all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. Yeah. God said, all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. So we got to recognize, guess what? We got to humble ourselves to recognize the cross of what Jesus has done for us at the cross. And agree with God about your sins. Acknowledge your sins to God. Acknowledge your sins to God. Yes, acknowledge. You got to be honest. You got to humble yourself, right? My yes, brother, you got to humble yourself. You got to humble yourself. You got to swallow your pride. Swallow your pride. Because that ain't going to get you nowhere. Look what happened to Lucifer. Right. You got to swallow your pride. Humble yourself before the Lord. And confess your sins. Amen. Amen. So you yeah. gotta recognize you gotta recognize you got a problem. We all gotta recognize we got a problem, a sin problem. We gotta recognize, we gotta look in the mirror. Guess what? Go home tonight, look in the mirror, and look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. And recognize and look and look and do this before God. Do it before God. Look at yourself in the mirror and then look at the cross. Look at what Jesus done for you at the cross. And recognize and guess what? Lord, I'm not even worthy. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinful person. But I thank God for your son who came to die for me for my sins at the cross. And I ask that you will forgive me of my sins. Admit, 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 guess what? Admit to God that you are a sinner. And ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sin. And turn away from your sin. And receive God's forgiveness. And also believe that Jesus died for your sins on the cross and rose, and rose from the grave. It says, through prayer, invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart.
come into your life. Invite Jesus Christ in your heart. And tell Him to control your life. Because guess what? We need, guess what? We all need somebody to control our lives. Guess what? The police going to do it if you get in trouble, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. You get hurt. You get hurt out here, right? And you get hurt out in the street. And then you wind up in a hospital. What is going to control your life? Yeah. Well, hey, so why not ask God to control your life? And guess what? God would come in and He would control your life. Yeah. And guess what? His Holy Spirit would come and live inside of you. His Holy Spirit would become the governor of your life. And guess what? And start guiding your life and show you how to live. How you doing, man? God bless you. I need you to move to my sister.